Do your kids ever like want come around here and see this They stuff? do come around here and yeah, they're always fascinated by it. Do you ever like bring home a big bag of all those shards and let them play with it? No. Oh. All right. What's up, Tim? How you doing, Tim? Good to meet you, man. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how long have you been here for? I've been here for 23 years. Oh my God. So you've seen a lot of it, a lot, most, a lot of this growth. Where I did have. you start when you were 12? Uh, 24. Wow. I've actually <laughs> frighteningly worked here half my life. You're 47? 47? Yeah. So am I. What is your role now? What is your title? I am officially the hot floor production manager. You know, I set everything up, train people, basically set people up for success in making glass. But, I mean, you're gonna talk to some amazing yeah. people here today. All right, this is Todd. Todd, Hey. so how long have you been working here? I've been here for a dozen years. It's almost wow. 12 years in October right now. They handed me a shovel the first day and I loved it. I, I kept coming back. The minute I don't wanna see a, a gob running through the rollers, I'm just gonna hang up my gloves and call it a day. Can I do something back there? What, can, what, what do you think I could do that would be not likely to die or to ruin something? Oh, pretty much anything. Really? Let, let's have you run a second scoop. Second scoop. Like a little jewel scoop. Second scoop, let's do it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Potatoes, gotta have potatoes. We've got these potatoes. <laughs> so we have multiple ways of stirring our tank. <laughs> Tell me about this thing. Yeah, so a potato it? is a way of uh, adding some carbon to the, our gold glasses to keep that gold in solution. So the gold doesn't fall out and sit on the bottom of the tank, making our, our pink and our purple glasses that perfect color that we, we want. 1215, it's 12, a gold 15, pink. It's pink. A gold I pink love that color, exactly. beautiful color. First of all, we use gold, which is one of the things that blew me away when I first yeah. started working. It was like, actual gold? He's like, yeah, gold. Like, it's a couple thousand dollars, I wrote. It, it's crazy. First. We mix the gold into the sand and the lead mix, and then we spin it for about half an hour. Right after that, we're gonna add the rest of it with the colorants, and then mix it for another two hours. Are these the colorants? Those are the colorants, yes. And then they'll be ready. How, how, do, you, get in how there. do you get it in there? You just throw it over the top? And no, everything? absolutely. We've got, a, we've got like a metal stick that we just stab it onto the end of. You're kidding. And dunk it into a tank. Is that really true? Absolutely. This guy is a freaking liar. <laughs> This is our resident joke teller. <laughs> we are all laughing at this funny joke. Come up behind me. You can see the glass level in here. Yeah. So we're just gonna kind of scoop it like this. We're gonna pour just a descending spiral. Now for the most part, these rollers They'll, they'll complete the mixing, but we've got to kind of help that out. All right, I can do that. You think you can do I that? I think I can do that. You're comfortable with paintbrushes. What if I go rogue and don't do a descending spiral? <laughs> Am I fired? You were never hired, so <laughs> whatever, you know? Tell me when. Uh, yeah, go for it. it. Okay. Go for it. Oh, God. Hot, huh? Hot boys. How much? That much good? Oh, uh, that's that's all right. Go for it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. All right, that's good. You're a little under full on that. That's okay. okay. I'm gonna try another one. Yeah, go for it. There we go. Woo! Coming behind. Yeah. Hot stringer. Ah. Oh, there we go. That's good. All right, let's take a look at the sheet. See how well you did. Yeah, that's textbook. Okay. That's textbook so you can right tell, there. You can tell right away, huh? Oh, that's a nice piece of glass. Yeah, you don't believe me, but we've got our own drill bit welded to a cross here to like core out a potato. I'll bet Dan made that. Dan probably did make this. Dan makes a lot of stuff around here. I know. I need to grab my special potato tube. That's it right there. All right, let's go for a walk. No, I still don't believe him. 
I <laughs> still don't. Todd, are you okay with this? He's gonna put a potato in your glass. That's my fucking lunch. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, so right. the glass isn't very hot right now, so it's not gonna have oh, quite the not, same reaction it normally has. It's not hot at all. It's not, no, it's only at 2350. But this would normally be about 2500 degrees and you'd get a much more violent reaction. You can see it still kind of does like bubble yeah. where the potato's sitting. I mean, who came up with this idea? Uh, you'd have to ask Sam or Tan. Oh, or I gotta ask you about this. We've been doing this for so long. Does it matter what kind of potato it is? It actually does. You would be surprised. We sourced out potatoes to someone else at some point and they just like didn't quite do the job. Cooked on the outside, still completely raw on the inside. Take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no. I have seen it all. <laughs> I say this about a lot of things around here. It's all about being patient, right? Being patient and waiting for that right time to do something. And then when that time comes, you gotta act real fast. You gotta be quick. You have to be like on that moment and doing it with intent, with confidence, or else the glass is gonna eat you up. You're gonna burn yourself, it's hot, it's heavy. Uh, what? You wanna try flipping a sheet sure. like Zach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So he casts it up. Henry pours it over. Got the stringer, and up. I'll let it sit, and over. Throwing it into the, the roller and just the spread rod. I'm just forcing it to the outside, basically. This glass doesn't want to be rectangular. Yeah, I always tell the guys you're going to have forearms like Popeye when I'm done with you. I hope you're ready for that. Eat some spinach today? Don't worry, you're going to fuck up. It's OK. Got it, I'm ready. <laughs> More of a folding action. And now let's throw it into the roller. See what happens. Ow, hot. <laughs> Damn, my arm. <laughs> Grab this spread rod. Oh yeah. And let's let's make it square. Oh yeah. 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 That's alright. That's alright. I've seen worse. You can sell that. Yeah, we'll get a half sheet oh, out of it. We'll dump water on you. Catch okay. on fire. Cool. So, yeah, you have this. Ah. Ah. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, give it one more flip. Uh, yeah, might as well get ah. it in. All right, grab that spread rod. Come on, that was good. You know that. No, I'm not. Convinced. No, you're wrong. I'm not money. here to make you feel good. Ow! I'm really not. Look at that streak there. That's money. <laughs> that is good. Dude, come on. It's That's got like some the good Himalayas. Marks. It's got some good marks. I, I, I bet you can sell that for twice as much as a normal sheet. Yeah. They don't. Uh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not easy, man. That's not easy. <laughs> you, you understand yeah, why I, I come it. back. I it's it. that moment. You know, this is like Michael right. Jordan hitting that. that that buzzer beater. The rush, man. Every sheet. I mean, I'm noticing that with every step, you have to be committed. You can't like, you've yeah. got to be like, throw that thing on there. When you pull the sheet off, you got to pull it. There's no ticking everywhere. No, it's, it's... I call those the hesitation marks. Yeah. So it's like when news people come on, they always show these hesitation marks. Dude, and it's like, is that what whoa, this whoa, is whoa. a hesitation mark? Yeah. Dude, I'm, look at that. I'm burned. <laughs> yeah. I got burned. Look at that. I thought I was just on the casting floor. I burned myself. I think I got a little burned right nice. here. I got burned. Did I show you that already? Look at that. See how red that is? Is there something up there that I could do that, that would be... We know. make it look really easy. Really? So if there was one thing that I could do, what would it be? Buggy. Buggy? Could I try it? Why not? All right, let's try the buggy. Huh? I'm gonna do it. He said yes. 
This is Gus, by the way. Hey, Gus. Am I in a good spot here? And then you're gonna turn and walk that way. Okay, now turn that way. There you go. All right, just make sure you clear that post. All right, now you have to turn opposite direction. Turn the opposite direction. Keep turning, and then get to that pad and go straight. Okay, now, straight. <laughs> okay, got it, get out of there. Yeah. Him up, come straight back. Now turn my way and push him over there. Okay. Keep walking backwards. All right. <laughs> All right. Now swing my way. Yeah. All right. Down. Now lift the handle up. Drive him back, same thing as before. Come back over to that tank. Perfect. Woo! All there is to it. <laughs> nope, wasn't even looking. Thanks for humoring me, man. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen worse. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. You it guys up. are amazing. It's right. only uh, uh, only like 108 degrees. I hate you guys. I'm shaking, man. Are you? I'm nervous. I didn't know I was doing all this stuff. Hey, you're gonna make sure I get that sheet of glass that I made there, right? Grab that. Break that. Carl. Yep. What's going on over here? What are you guys oh. doing? We're trimming some glass right now. I want to do some cutting. I can cut glass. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, I don't know. I'm finding out that you guys are making all this stuff look easy, but it's really not. You can hop on in. Okay, your cutter is right here. Then just go ahead and go down there and bring it all the way down. Ah, uh, that sounds nice. Break that off. Natural. And if you don't smash any on the ground, you're not you're not doing your job right. Okay. So. <laughs> break glass. If it ain't broke, break it. I just did some of that stuff over there. Yeah. That's not easy. No. It looks easy. <laughs> well, we make it look easy. Man. You know? How long have you been throwing so I'm glass? I'm here six years now. But the thing about it is you gotta be a little crazy to do this, but you also have to have a love and respect and a dedication to this material. You know, Dude, glass yeah. as itself is this living, breathing thing and you have to make a relationship with it. I honestly get so romantic thinking about just the cultural impact. I mean, you make beautiful art glass that's going to be here for thousands of years. You know, I mean, that big window you made, I'm so proud of being part of that just because of the longevity of all of that. But what I love the most is my casters, like yeah. these guys here. Yeah. You know, Clayton, Zach, Todd, Ryan, Henry, all these guys behind me right now on the floor, they're my family. I don't know, it really becomes like a second home. And sure, it's hot, yeah. all these things, and some days you're frustrated, but then you think about it and you're like, hey, we're making a huge difference here. And also, I love it, so. What you guys are doing go so far beyond just making glass. Because yeah. ultimately this glass ends up in places that are that are changing people's lives in great yeah. ways. But none of that happens without you guys here at the beginning get, yeah. getting us off the ground. We start the crayons that kind of send That's out right. to the world that everyone does. That's with. gotta and be really satisfying. Thanks for sharing your passion with us, yeah. man. Thank it you. Comes through big time. Yeah, guys, appreciate it. Awesome stuff.